you been paying attention to the news lately? Do you know what's happening in this community? I know there are more and more people coming for help, and we don't have the resources. I heard funding was cut for grandparent child care subsidy, and that's the lowest income, fixed income grandparents. A choir recently, we had five people tell us that they had unemployed relatives. Well, why is all this happening? What's going on? Well, obviously, some people would say it's the recession. I don't think it's just the recession. I think it's the choices we're making. The choices we're making? But what can we do? Our states are already struggling with their budgets, and we just can't keep going deeper and deeper into debt. I think the decisions that we're making at the government level, it, it is an issue. Local, state, federal government. The budgets they're passing are really moral documents. They show how we feel about the poor and how we're going to fund services for them. You know, in Phoenix, there was just a 2% sales tax on food passed. There were alternatives, but they weren't accepted. And so more and more, the poor are taking the hit. In Nevada, the uh, cuts that have been made have not really had a severe effect on the poor, but then that's not saying much because Nevada already ranks in the lowest 10% in terms of, of assistance for the poor. And medical reimbursements have been cut there too. The fear is that doctors will stop treating pa patients who are poor. Medical facilities will stop accepting patients who are poor. Well, Arizona just passed a horrible budget. Over 500,000 people are going to be impacted. And those folks, are the most vulnerable. Children will suffer. The elderly will suffer. The disabled will suffer. They're all going to suffer as a result of these cuts. And the church, to some extent, is expected to fill the void. In all states, there have been discussions at all high, highest levels about alternatives to tax increases. But the voters, unless they're directly impacted, don't really believe there's a crisis. But really, what business is it of the church? I mean, what should we be doing? We need to start the conversation. We need to talk about it. We need to act on it. If we don't talk about it, we won't act. And our faith calls us in scripture to act at a time like this. It's really important for us to talk about maybe some solutions we might have and elevate that to the elected officials. You know, if they don't hear from us, they won't know we're thinking about it. And our message is clear in scripture. We need to act. What if we don't do anything? What would the effect be on the churches then? Well, I think if we fail to speak up about it now, at a time like this, when so many are impacted, how can we possibly stand and say that we are people of faith? It, it's important for us now to start that conversation, to develop some solutions, to at least understand better what's happening in our communities. And we need to start that by talking. And God's watching us.